Hey guys, Dimitri here bringing you another video about my insights into the crypto world. So today I just wanted to show you how to move your uh, legacy Bitcoin wallet on the Ledger Nano S uh, to a SegWit wallet. Um, and there are many reasons for doing so. Me personally, I just want to save on fees. So that's why I'm moving over to SegWit. So I just wanted to show you how um, easy it is if I run into any issues because I have not done this before and what the fees will look like when we transfer our funds from the legacy wallet over into the new SegWit address. And it's actually not a very complicated process. All you're doing is you're moving your funds from an old address, which is the legacy one, to a newly created address for uh, the newly created SegWit address um, and storing your funds there. And then later on, you'll be doing all the transactions on this new SegWit address. So I'll leave a link in the description to um, the Ledger Nano site with the detailed instructions of how to do that. And that's what I'll be using for the migration. And as you can see, they give you uh, a background of what SegWit is. It's basically a software fork that was released on August 24th. Uh, it was aimed to optimize the signature delay and save on fees. And as Ledger mentions, it's good to use a SegWit address if you're collecting small amounts um, from cloud mining contracts or something else because you'll pay way less fees. All right, so um, if you have a different type of device than me, I just have the Ledger Nano S that I got about a month ago. They'll have you know all the bullet points that you need to read um, if you need to upgrade your firmware um, or if you need to do anything else. For example, the SegWit is not available for uh, the blue uh, hardware uh, wallet. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. But uh, let's just get started with instructions and see how um, easy it is um, to actually do this migration. All right, so I already got my Ledger Nano S plugged in. I put in my pin so that the wallet's unlocked. Now they want me to launch the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin application. So let's do that. All right, so now they want me to, so the next step is, um, I actually kind of jumped ahead, uh, but it's connect your device, enter your pin code, which I already did. So now they want me to open the Bitcoin application on the device itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Bitcoin. One second. And here we go. Which uh, Bitcoin chain do you want to use? I'm looking to use Bitcoin. And when I'm selecting whether it's legacy or SegWit for the first time, um, I believe that they want you to select legacy so you can transfer it over. Let's just double check. Um, disable, open your Bitcoin application, I already did. Disable the browser support setting of this application, only required with a Nano S. Disable the browser support. Um, okay, so I'm assuming that's over here. I don't have anywhere to disable browser support, but um, okay. Let's skip that for now and follow the instructions. So they want me to uh, select Bitcoin, which I did, and then select SegWit. Okay. Bitcoin SegWit. So usually I used legacy, so this will probably show a balance of zero. Awesome. So here we go, here's my new SegWit wallet. What are the next steps? Your Bitcoin wallet opens, it did. Click on receive, a pop-up screen opens. It does. And I'm assuming it just wants me to paste, copy the address. So copy the Bitcoin address which is displayed, close the receive window, click on settings and blockchains. Got it. Display address on device. I'll copy this for now, let me double check it. 3, 4, S is correct. And then the last three are V, S, W. Yep. So that all looks good. I'm going to confirm that. Um, then I'm going to go into settings, blockchains, and I'm assuming they're going to want me to go into legacy now. Blockchains, then you're prompted for the home menu. Select Bitcoin, not Bitcoin Cash. Select legacy, click on send. Okay. So Bitcoin, now I'm going into the legacy wallet, which is my regular wallet and not SegWit. And I'm gonna click send. Paste the copied 
uh, seg with address on the recipient field, fill in the amount, the fees, and, um, and send your transaction. If you prefer, you can also send Bitcoin on several SegWit addresses as it is an HD wallet. Warning to Bitcoin Cash users, never send Bitcoin Cash to a SegWit address generated on the Bitcoin network. You'll never be able to recover your funds. So guys, please be careful. Don't send Bitcoin Cash to a Bitcoin SegWit address. All right. For the amount, I'm going to send the max. The Bitcoin address is the new SegWit address uh, prepended with 34S um, with the new format. The transaction fee is um, high for fast confirmation. I'm going to pay $2.29 $2 uh, um, and the amount of Bitcoin correlated to US dollars I have is uh, $602.77. Um, so that's actually, oh, I'm sorry, no, I have $605.06, so after paying $2.29 in fees, I'll be sending over $602.77. All right, so I'm going to click send. It's going to prepare the transaction. Let's see what happens here. Check the transaction displayed on your device and confirm or reject it. Amount 0.072234S. And the last three on the new address were SVSW. That is correct. I'm going to confirm it. All right. So the sending has succeeded. I still see the funds. Are there any other instructions? Nope. Um, so that was it. Um, they're saying SegWit support for Ledger products available in green address and green bits. And SegWit 2x, yeah. If you guys um, heard about you know the November 16th launch for SegWit 2x, um, it actually never happened. But we still get the advantage of having SegWit addresses for lower fees. So um, I'm excited to start using it. Let's see if um, these funds actually came in to my new SegWit address. I'm going to refresh this and see if it's at zero. It is. Um, I have an unconfirmed transaction to my SegWit address. So what I'm going to do is go into settings, blockchains. I'm going to remember the choice of Bitcoin because I don't use Bitcoin cash. I'm going to use SegWit now. And let's see if the funds are in there. All right, there it is. So my account, I paid, you know, $2.29 in fees. I have most of my Bitcoin in here. And when I receive any mining payouts from Genesis Mining, Hashflare or anything else, I will pay a smaller fee and it's just a matter of updating the Bitcoin addresses that you uh, are sending from to this new SegWit address by clicking receive uh, that you can get by clicking receive this plan address on device and copy it over here. You know, they, uh, they change from time to time to your account. They're always associated with your account. So you might not always see the same address every single time. That was also the case for the legacy wallet. So don't worry if you're not seeing the same address when you're clicking receive. What is important is that you confirm this address on your device before clicking the check mark on the hardware wallet. Um, so that's it guys. After this, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, update all my addresses for payouts on any services that I used to have uh, my legacy wallet connected to. And just uh, as a heads up, you can use this wallet just like you did the legacy one in the past. You can send and receive Bitcoin with your new SegWit address um, the same exact way. So don't worry about any other updates. So this was it. It was pretty straightforward. I didn't run into any issues. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, if you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy investing.